Guys, if you want to track your mobile device but don't want to use the usual tracking apps like Find My Phone or iCloud, in this video I'm going to show you how to locate any device using built-in digital tools. This method works for practically any device. So let's get started. Before we dive in, let me clarify. This tutorial is strictly for educational purposes. We're not using any illegal tools here, and we're only working with devices we own. This ensures that we follow good practices. With that said, let's get into it. To track your device, the first step is to open your browser, launch a new tab, and go to the address bar. Here, you'll need to type in the URL that's currently displayed on your screen. Once you've entered it, click the Go button, which will take you to a platform called Me Robot. On this platform, click the button labeled Go Chat. It'll open up a new interface. Wait for it to fully load, and then, once you're in, we'll need to input a specific command to unlock advanced features. Type the following command. It doesn't matter if you use uppercase or lowercase letters. Personally, I'm typing it all in uppercase. After entering the command, wait for the system to respond. As you can see, it confirms that we're now super users, allowing us to access advanced mode. This means we can proceed to retrieve information by entering another command. The next step is to type the command called chucking number. Let me explain how it works. This tool connects to a network that virtually all telecom users are part of. It establishes a connection through a method called PCS, enabling us to send a request to the PTM and retrieve precise location data. To proceed, enter this command in the bar or simply click on it to autofill the input. Once that's done, click the send button. The system will process your request. As you can see, the AI informs us that it can't perform the tracking itself, but will use digital tools to assist. Next, it prompts us to input the phone number we want to locate. Enter the number and then click send to validate if it's compatible for this type of tracking. Once verified, the system begins the process. It estimates that the operation will take around 84 seconds. So let's wait for it to complete. All right, let's wait for this process to finish. Okay guys, the process is complete. As you can see, it tells me it has successfully located the record on the IMT network and the APT network. Essentially, it shows me two networks that can be used for the tracking process. Here, it's asking me to verify that I'm not a robot. Let's complete this verification step. I'm going to install one of these apps, but be careful guys. Always read the instructions carefully. For example, this app from Letty Shops tells me to install it, open it, and register with valid information. So I'll click on free, which will take us directly to the Google Play Store. From there, we'll install the app and complete the registration process. All right guys, the process is done, and look at what it shows me now. It says the last registered location corresponds to the following coordinates. It provides latitude and longitude values, along with a link to Google Maps. When we click on it, Google Maps opens, showing us the location. From here, we just need to find the marker. As you can see, you can even open Street View to get a clearer idea of the exact spot. Here we can see that the marker is right on this location, specifically on this street. Our actual position is slightly to the right, but it's quite close. The location isn't far off, and it even gives us the address and coordinates. As you can see, the process is really quick. Let's open Street View again for a more detailed look. This makes it even faster and more precise. Here we can now explore the streets, and with that we've successfully completed our tracking process using this tool. Alright guys, that's where we'll wrap up today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.